The images of destruction and devastation from Jacksboro High School will take your breath away. Surveying that damage drives home just how fortunate we are that more wasn't lost. The storm's substantial impact is evident, but not so much so that the school and the community won't rise up and rebuild. Here's Mike Leslie. Just minutes before this happened, there were kids practicing at Jacksboro High School. There were about 40 kids out on the grass whenever the sirens went off. Most of the kids left quickly, picked up by their parents. Be outside, I'm coming to get you. Was well, there a tornado or something? She goes, well, yeah, have you not been watching the news? I was like, who my age watches the news? <laughs> Others gathered with coaches to take shelter. There's probably about 10 or 12 of us that got into one of the back bathrooms. After the EF3 tornado hit, they found their football stadium took incredible damage. The uprights, the press box, the field, a light pole crashed down across the bleachers. Somebody said the poles were rated at 180 miles an hour, so you don't know if something hit it or if the winds exceeded that, but uh, just pretty crazy. And the gym even crazier. It's destroyed, looked like a bomb went off or something. Casey Hubble, who just took the job as athletic director and head football coach this month, is thankful though. Luckily, no one was injured. The policies and, and things that were set in place worked. He and many of his coaches and students were helping to clean up, both on campus and around town. Uh, Mr. Burnett's house had a bunch of tree limbs down, so I uh, started cutting some of that stuff up, and next thing you know, there's 10 or 15 people around helping, and, uh, and that's what's been going on all over town. Hubble says their first focus is getting school back going, reestablishing normalcy for these kids, like the baseball game that Jackson McComas and his teammates will play tomorrow in Bowie. I think we're just going to have a lot of adrenaline. We're going to be, we're just going to be happy to be out there. But still, a massive effort lies ahead. You know, just rebuild. That's all you. That's all you can do. You know, at the end of uh, whatever happens, you just got to go back to work, and that's that's what we'll do. Amidst millions of dollars of damage, a reminder of the kids here in Jacksboro, a lone basketball with the Tigers logo on it. It will be some time before they're playing basketball here again. In Jacksboro, I'm Mike Leslie.